Decorative wood joints. Uh, we have a number of options available to us as, as furniture builders, wood crafters, as to how to join two pieces of wood. The most important thing to consider is, does that joint deal with, does, does, it, does it endure a lot of pressure? If it's a high pressure joint, you need to make sure that your first consideration is strength. Uh, if, if you want it to be attractive, make sure that attractive takes a back seat to strong. Now, if it's, if it's, a, if it's just a decorative joint, it makes no difference if, it takes, uh, if it's strong or not. If it, you want it to look good, then you have every option available to you. Uh, some of the strong but decorative joints that we use in woodworking, there are dovetail joints. This is, this is not only very strong, but it's also very attractive. You'll notice if you open a drawer of an old piece of furniture, you'll see little triangle shapes along the side of the drawer. Those are dovetails. Uh, it's, it's a technique that's been around for hundreds of years. It's, uh, it's, it's sort of the mark of a great craftsman, how well he can cut dovetail joints in a drawer. And it can also be used on the side of a carcass, of a, uh, a blanket chest or something like that for, for decorative purposes. There are other joints that can be just as strong in that application, but sometimes you like to have that visual impact of a dovetail. We also use uh, finger joints that are essentially just what they sound like. It's just sort of the corners of the wood overlapping. Those You've seen those in a lot of boxes. It's also known as a box joint. And, uh, that can be very strong as well. It's also simple to do if you have the right setup. Uh, both the box joint, finger joint, and dovetail joints can be cut with electric tools as well as you know, routers, as, as well as doing them by hand. So select the best joint for your project and enjoy.